Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n minus 4 and its whole cubed equals to minus 64. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So here we find all the roots of this problem. So that the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as we have n minus 4 and its whole cubed and we move this minus 64 in the left hand side and you get plus 64 equals to 0. So uh, in the next step uh, we will just again write this equation as n minus 4 cubed plus we write this 64 as 4 cubed equals to 0 and now uh, you will just focus on uh, this equation and it will be looks like in cubic form so that now we will use here the nice cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a squared minus a b plus b squared so this is the our nice cubic formula and if you focus on this statement we have n minus 4 be the value of a and 4 be the value of b so now you just put the value of a and b in this nice formula and you will get its output uh, in this form so now we just uh, substitute the values of a and b here and you obtain n minus 4 this is the value of a and plus b the value of b is 4 into a squared so a is n minus 4 squared and minus a b so here our a is n minus 4 and b is 4 and plus b square so b is 4 square and this whole equals to 0 so this is we just put the values of a b in this formula then you will get its output in this form so now uh, in the next step we just make little bit simplifications here and you see that this positive 4 and negative 4 are gone and we obtain here n into here we open the formula of a minus b whole square and it will be becomes in this form a squared plus b squared minus 2 times of a and b minus we multiply this 4 on both of the terms and we obtain minus 4 times of n plus 16 and similarly you have the square of 4 is equals to plus 16 and this whole equals to 0 so now in the next step we will again make little bit simplifications here and you obtain n times of n squared plus 4 squared equals to 16 minus 4 to the 8 times of n minus 4 times of n plus 16 plus 16 equals to 32 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we again uh, add or subtract the like terms and we get n squared minus 8n minus 4n equals to minus 12n and you have 32 plus 16 uh, it is equals to 48 and this whole equation equals to 0 so here we have two cases the first case is we write n equals to 0 and the second case is we write n squared minus 12 n 
plus 48 equals to 0 so in the first case uh, we will easily get our first root of this equation which is n equals to 0 and now in order to find the other roots uh, we need to solve this quadratic equation and here I can just apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so that here first I can write the coefficients of this equation which is a equals to 1 b equals to minus 12 and c equals to 48 and our quadratic formula will be looks like in this form n equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of ac and whole over 2 times of a and now we put all the values of a b and c in this formula and you will get its output in this form n equals to minus b and we have minus times of minus 12 plus minus square root of b squared and our b is minus 12 squared minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 48 and this whole over 2 times of a and a is 1 so now we just make uh, simplifications here and we move towards our final answer so that uh, in the next step uh, we will simplify this formula and you get 12 plus minus square root of minus 12 square is 144 and you have 4 times of 44 equals to 192 and this whole over 2 so that uh, again you will get here n equals to 12 plus minus 144 minus 192 equals to uh, minus times of 48 over 2 so now you will just uh, simplify the terms and we will get here we write this minus times of 48 as 12 plus minus 16 times of 3 you know that 48 equals to 16 times of 3 and we separate the square root of minus 1 and whole over 2 and you know that the square root of 16 equals to 4 into square root of 3 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and this whole over 2 and similarly when we separate these two terms then you will obtain here 6 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 iota so these are the other two roots of this problem and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos